How's it going? My name is Ethan Estes. I'm the director of CountercurrentArt.org. And today, I'm going to teach you my printmaking technique using plastic debris collected off the beaches and the streets. This activity is designed to be easy and fun. It's something you can do at home, no matter where you are in the world. I got interested in printmaking through my time spent working in Japan as a marine biologist. There's the tradition of gyotaku, which means fish printing, where you take a fish and you ink it up and you lay fabric over it and press. And that image transfers wherever you press. But I wanted to flip that idea on its head conceptually, because they estimate that by the year 2050, there's going to be more plastic in the ocean than fish. So here in front of me, I've got some rope collected off the beach in Hawaii, a gross plastic straw container I collected off the street here in Santa Cruz, and all different types of plastic objects that you'd find in your home, but also on the beach. Bubble wrap, weird plastic packaging, single-use coffee cup lids, styrofoam. And all of this can be used to make art. It's estimated that there's over 150 million tons of plastic circulating in the oceans now. And every year, at least 8 million tons enters the ocean. This is all mostly out of sight, out of mind. So the power of art is to bring attention to something that we don't usually see with our own eyes. Because this plastic doesn't biodegrade, or it takes a almost 1,000 years in some cases. What it does do is it photodegrades. Ultraviolet light breaks it up into smaller and smaller pieces but it's still plastic, and that's what tons of wildlife are ingesting, and ourselves. So for this activity, you're going to need some acrylic paint. If you want to make something that's permanent, you got to use screen printing ink instead of acrylic paint, a foam roller or foam brush, a paint tray, and wet paper towels to clean up, some object, whether you collect it out of your garbage can at home or off of your local beach or lake, a piece of fabric, or a piece of paper. It's also important to protect your work surface by putting down a drop cloth so you don't get paint on your parents' table. Another way that you can make your prints come out really evenly is by using a piece of foam rubber and just gluing it to a piece of wood so you can press and stamp. I also like to use a hot glue gun to attach the plastic to a piece of wood so it doesn't move around on me. Hot glue guns are actually pretty dangerous, so definitely, if you're younger, make sure you have your parents' supervision while you use this. All right, now let's ink our print. We're trying to make it nice and even, not too much paint, not too little. Take your fabric and carefully lay it over the top of the print. Try not to smudge it as you drop it. Just drop it straight down. You have two options. You can just use your hand and press. Anywhere you press, the ink is going to transfer. Or you can use an old piece of foam rubber to just press flat and apply even pressure. Again, it depends on what you're trying to print. Carefully lift your print straight up off of the object. And you're going to set that somewhere to dry and not get smudged. On to the next one. Let's try the bubble wrap. Bubble wrap's fun because it creates an interesting organic pattern. See how we did? That's kind of cool, huh? I've never printed on a straw and lid together, but that's the fun part, is we're gonna try it together. Now this is an example where I'm going to ink this up on what I would call the dirty side of the table. And then I'm going to move it to my clean side for printing. Carefully lifting the print. Hey, that's pretty weird. <laughs> Let's try another one of these lid prints on paper. That came out interesting. <laughs> I like printing things with text on them because it comes out looking kind of like a foreign language or something because the letters are reversed. Mm -hmm. 
Cool. Another way of doing this is leaving the paper or fabric flat on the table and using the plastic as a stamp and pushing it. So you can ink it up off your roller and go straight onto there. You do that all day long. Bottle caps, super easy, super fun. Voila. So my hope is that you guys continue to explore, try printing on different materials that you collect off the beach or off the street, and just have fun with it, and use this art as a tool to get people to think and care about the ocean.